All right, check it out. So I built this egress window last year and I uh, never actually put a drain system in there. I couldn't find much information online about how to drain egress windows. So uh, let's talk a little bit about how to do that. So I figured this out by just looking at my other egress window, which was already installed when I bought the house right here. Uh, basically what it has on there is we have a piece of two inch PVC coming from the window well um, outside there. And there's a, it's kind of hard to see from this angle here, but there is indeed a drain out there. Uh, so the water flows down that drain into this two inch PVC, and then that's connected to my sump system on the perimeter of my basement. So basically I installed the same thing on this new egress that I built. Um, so my sump system, you know, yours might look a little different from mine, but mine has um, this, uh, it's made out of this uh, drain uh, PVC pipe here. And basically that drain PVC goes over to my sump pump or my sump well or whatever. I don't know what this thing's called. It's actually running right now and you can kind of see it sticks, you know, the two pieces of that drain pipe stick into, stick into the, um, into the sump there. So that's how we're draining. So what's going to happen is basically the same thing. We're going to direct the water from the window well outside um, through this piece of um, PVC. And then uh, I basically just spliced it into this uh, existing, uh, the existing drain pipe that was in there. Um, so basically the way that you do this is you're gonna need to drill a hole in the foundation. So I got a, uh, basically it's like a hole saw um, that drills a two and five eighths hole, which is big enough to accommodate a piece of um, two inch PVC pipe, outer diameter of two inch PVC. So I have this, uh, I have this jackhammer, kind of hand jackhammer thing. And this is the hole saw that goes onto the jackhammer. So basically, should have taken a video of this. I wasn't thinking about it at the time, but basically you put that bad boy onto your jackhammer, you set it for hammer drill mode, which is this one, and then you just drill away. I have about a foot of concrete here, so I had to put an extension on it to get it to go all the way through. But when I was done, I have a two and five eighths inch hole um, going straight through to the outside of my house. And then basically after that, I basically just hammered up the concrete here uh, on the perimeter. This had been installed uh, as a retrofit on this house. This house is from like the 20s or 30s. So it's an old house. It didn't have a sump system. And this was installed um, as like a retrofit before I bought it. And you know, basically you just, uh, you just kind of hammer this up with the, with the jackhammer. And then um, you go, you have to dig down around this uh, drain pipe here. You can't see really from the video how deep it is. It's probably about maybe 12 to 18 inches deep. I tried to get down underneath the pipe. It's a real challenge to dig in this um, con constrained space here. And the dirt that I had underneath it was just clay. So it was really, really difficult to, um, get, to, get, the to get the clay out from underneath. Uh, and then once I got the clay out, I basically sawed out a section, a good size length of this uh, existing drain pipe. And what I found out is that, um, you, know, you guys are probably smarter than me, but what I found out is that this drain that they use for these sump pump systems is actually way thinner than the standard PVC drain that's in um, like for drain waste vent pipe um, in the, you know, in the house. So this is a, I think this is a four inch inner diameter pipe, but it has, it doesn't fit into a standard four inch um, DWV fittings or whatever they're called. So what I did is I had to get some adapters. We have some adapters here from uh, Home Depot that basically adapt from this thinner walled um, sump system pipe to the standard uh, four inch uh, drain pipe that's that you get for um, you know DWV fittings. 
And then I built the rest of this stuff out of that standard, um, out of those standard fittings. So the, one, of the, one of the big challenges to doing this that I found aside from the wall thickness of the pipe is that you know to splice in on your um, to sp to splice a piece uh, to splice a piece in perfectly like that is, is pretty difficult. Normally, if it was in if it was like a waste pipe for plumbing or whatever, I would just use a uh, one of those rubber uh, you know one of those rubber fittings to splice you know, like a repair coupling rubber repair coupling with, with pipe clamps on two sides of it. But I didn't want to do that in here because this is going to be covered and it's going to be getting wet. It's going to be covered in dirt, getting wet. And I, I'm just thinking the pipe clamps are probably going to rust and fail. So what I used a uh, I used a four inch repair coupling here to splice the to splice the four inch PVC in. Um, so my understanding and you know my experience has been that these four inch repair couplings are not super reliable. Um, sometimes they leak a little bit. I think in this application, it's probably fine because you know the um, this, the the pipes that are in there have literally have holes in them, um, you know, to to let water in and out. So I think it's okay if it leaks a little bit. So I didn't like carefully test this to make sure that it's totally um, watertight. I'm sure, it's not uh, knowing my plumbing. Uh, but you know, I think it's probably good enough to, uh, you know, to, for, for this, uh, for this sump system here. Um, so one thing we're going to be, you know, so we're basically going to be, uh, finishing this basement and we're going to be putting, um, two by four studs up on the walls for the, for nailers for the drywall. So you want to make sure that this thing is going to be inside of the stud, right? So we want to make sure that the stud is going to come out past the end of this thing so that there's not a bulge in the drywall around it, right? So I made sure that, I don't know if you can kind of see here, this is only sticking about maybe, I don't know, two and three quarters, two and a half inches away from the wall. So we're good in that in that sense here. Uh, but you just wanna be careful when you're uh, putting, you know, when you're when you're mounting this section of your of your PVC um, to the, uh, to the uh, to the wall that it doesn't stick out any farther. And also we wanna make sure that this doesn't stick out above the top of the floor. So when I'm done here, I'm gonna backfill all this up to somewhere around the bottom of these pipes with clay. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up the rest of it with, with gravel and pour concrete on top of it. And the concrete should come up uh, just above the top of this uh, fitting here. Um, so these are actually, these fittings here are actually um, not standard uh, drain fittings. These are like vent 90s. Um, so they have kind of a tight angle on them. Um, normally we wouldn't use that on like a regular, um, you know, on, on a regular uh, sewer line or whatever, but I think in this case it's okay. And in order to keep these things from sticking out past the edge of our two by four studs, we had to use a tighter turn 90 degree fitting here. Um, so hopefully that works out. That's the way they did it on the other one, uh, on the other window. So I'm, I'm hoping that's gonna be fine. Now outside, we can take a peek at uh, what it looks like outside. So outside, it's a little bit annoying. I have this, uh, I have this piece of pipe, uh, some kind of a, I think it's some kind of a drainage pipe um, that's sitting right where I want to be here in this window well. Um, so I had to kind of work around that. But we have, um, this is the the drain here. So this is basically just a, like a cap that goes on to a uh, standard four. I think it's a three or a four inch. Um, a piece of coupling and they sell that at Home Depot and then um, that just comes down to a 90 down here I did not put a trap in there I'm not sure if it's necessary to put a trap in there or not maybe somebody can leave a comment in the videos uh, to tell us what needs to happen uh, underneath the ground there I didn't uh, I didn't really know what what it was supposed to look like because I didn't dig up the other window well um, to see how a professional would do it so we just kind of have to hope that that's going to be right. Okay, cool. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck on your project.